Okay, so last week I talked about the Grand Arena Galaxy Heroes, and that fizzled out real fast. We all got one coin as a reward. Oh, it was yeah, great. But it, it came it back. Great, great. Came cased out. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I was going to give you a little update on my ranking and everything. You're doing terrible, aren't you? I am ranked 12,513 in the Bronzeum League for Division 5. So to put that into perspective, I was ranked 30-something thousand oh. last week. And you were in a different level, weren't you? Yes, I was in the very beginning one, which I forget what it's called. Whatever. So I'm in like the second one, which is the, the Bronzeum one. I'm halfway through it to get to the Chromium one, which is gotcha. the, the second one. Right. Or the third one. And uh, in my Grand Arena that I'm in, because like... It's kind of like a regular Grand Arena, but a huge tournament surrounding it. So if you don't know what the game is at all, Star Wars Galaxy Hero is basically like a... It's a mobile EA game with Star Wars characters. That's like a long-term game that oh, yeah. tries to suck your money out. Like you get whatever characters... <laughs> any character that is in the Star Wars universe is pretty much on the game. Right, and you earn them through <clears throat> shards, which you accumulate slowly. You can speed it up if you want to pay a bunch of money, get crystals right. and shit, but... It's supposed to be a long-term game, and you can either pay yeah. to play or you can have free to play and... Enjoy the game, but you're not going to be like a top tier player. Right. You could be like a top tier free player, but you can't be like number one consistently. True. You know, but uh, in the Grand Arena, I really like that in general because it's it's not specifically focused on like the best five players on your team. Like, do you have the best character that right. everyone paid money for? It's overall, who is your overall, all your Star Wars characters, does that mm. beat somebody else's Star Wars character based off your power? And like I said, I'm in Division 5, and each division is like a... A range of your galactic power mm. and <clears throat> i'm in the middle of the galactic power range gotcha so i'll say for being in the middle of the division and uh just starting it ain't too bad also considering that i don't have two of the best characters in the game mm. both revens light side revan and dark side revan right so, so uh, you're at a definite handicap but because you built your team your overall roster is so balanced i can work around yeah so uh in the grand arena that i'm in the first tournament first round i completely skunk the guy like he couldn't kill none of my characters i destroyed all his characters got like really good score and everything yeah and the second round i fucking lost oh shit in the dumbest way oh god you <laughs> fucked up didn't you well i uh because how busy we were this weekend i like wasn't on top of it mm -hmm. so i like looked at my phone and i i realized i had like three hours left to like attack his people and right. he cleared my whole entire squad so Jeez. like oh so i gotta clear his squad too so i look at his defense and i'm like oh it's pretty easy Fucking Ewok team, bro. The murder bears. No, fucking Ewok team. It was like only 70,000 power. Okay. I was like, I'll use like my second Empire team against him. Yeah, my loser. Vader lead led, gear no. 12. Tarkin, gear 12, which is like maxed. Yeah. TIE fighter pilot, gear 11. And then I had HK-47. He's not Empire. No. Yeah. That's why I said it's like my off-brand one. <laughs> right. And uh, IG-88. They're okay. both gear 11. Okay. So they're powerful. You get skunked. I think it's skunked, but I killed two Ewoks, and they killed all five of those people. I'm pretty sure Ewoks have, like, a buff against Empire. I was so pissed, dude. <laughs> I was so pissed. I, like, dropped Do my you not? Did you not see the last uh, of the original trilogy where they're literally destroying the Empire? Just a bunch all of murder bears. All I know is I was pissed because <laughs> it ruined it for me because <clears throat> in the Grand Arena, the points you get... It's cumulative. It's a cumulative, and you get more points if you defeat the other teams on the first try, or right. if you defeat them with the more how many tries it take protection. you? Protection. Took me two tries. Okay. All the rest of them took one try, and on his against me, he took out all my people in one try as well. But mm. even with me doing it the second time, I was only thirty points behind him because all my other teams, I fucking destroyed him. Right. So, so it, if you had gone at it smart, with would, a good team. Yeah, I would have easily won, and then I would be 3-0 and right now because I'm in the last part of the tournament right now facing somebody with a light side Revan, but it's I like still got more character you can get. Yes, but I still got more points than that bitch ass because of my everybody, you know? All right. So kind of upset with myself because I feel like I'd be a little bit higher ranked, but it's okay. It's a long tournament, right? Yeah, it's You got time. <clears throat> so I'm not too worried about it. Also, a thing that I really didn't talk about in last week with the Grand Arena Championship is there's feats, which feats. are like bonus. I think we talked about bonus it. Missions like uh, you kill this many characters with right. uh, General Kenobi or something. But I, I didn't know that it's not only based in Grand Arena. Like one of them was like win 15 Fleet Arena battles. Oh, just general or game shit. Or win eight Squad Arena battles, things like that. And mm. you can, I that's like the make or break. 
that's like you get like you get extra bonus points there so i feel like that's what gets your ranking up a lot higher interesting so it's been a week i am in bronzium which is the first one up so you've moved up a level yeah i'll probably be in a chromium one the next podcast we'll see we're gonna keep track of this shit and i'm about to get my characters finally so no, the saying. characters you're talking about, like Light Side Revan and Millennium the Falcon, Millennium fucking Falcon. Obviously, the Millennium Falcon best ship there is. So if you don't have the Millennium Falcon in this game and your fleet arena, which is like your ships versus somebody else's ships, your best five versus their best five, if you don't have Millennium Falcon, you cannot get in the top twenty. Just at all. Like I can barely, but I have to like consistently watch it. Let's just say you can't get in the top ten. It's impossible. Yeah. And if you're in the top ten, you get more rewards, which allow you to grow your team faster, right? Right. And uh, I'll be able to get them this time. The Millennium Falcon event starts in three days. So to get these characters, you got to have a specific set of characters. Correct. So Millennium Falcon, it's uh, uh it's four bounty, bounty hunters, hunters, right? ships because you're supposed to catch the Millennium Falcon. What right. have you? Revan's got five characters that you need from the Old Republic. <laughs> They're all really hard to farm. I'm nowhere near it myself because I'm obviously a little noob. Yeah, so. and the way EA spins it is they release these events earlier than so, expected. So fast. So it's they kind of the like, they put the pressure on you to pay to win. Mm -hmm. And if you don't pay to win, you, you suffer lose. like I did for like the past, <laughs> what, like two, three it's months? It's been a long time. Like, I, have, I used to be in the top 50 for Scrod Arena, top 50, top 100. It ranges from like one to 20,000, by the yeah. way. But your rewards get better the higher, closer to one. Better. Significantly yeah. better. And uh, I've been barely staying in the top 300 for like the past two months. I haven't even been able to crack the top 200 in like a month because mm. I don't have either one of the Revens. And it's just been, it's been frustrating as shit to say the least. Don't imagine. And now I'm just so excited because I know I have like the good mods for the characters. Right. I know I have the good gear. I just needed Revan. Like he's that powerful of a fucking character where mm -hmm. if you don't have him. You lose. You lose. If you do, you win. Yeah. So I'm. Um, I am optimistic I'll be able to get in the top 100 now. But once he comes out. Okay, so you're you're banking on the fact that your mods and gear is going to propel you ahead of the, all the other people, people that, that are, are also getting Revan. getting Revan. Yes, because I look at the mods of the Revens that are around me and I look at the mods of the Revens that are in the top 50. Like I scroll down to the 40s and that and say, like, nah. Really? Yeah. Nah. Interesting. It's, it's, not, it's not even nah. a competition. I got this shit. So I'm really excited. Interesting. Ships have always been my thing. Right. I've always been able to stay in the top ten of ships until the Millennium Falcon came out. And you got fucked. And then I, yeah, I, I was trying to farm it too slow, and it, it fucking sprung up, and I didn't want to pay, so I had to wait like a whole other time. And uh, now it's coming in like two days, two and a half days, and I'll be able to unlock the Millennium Falcon. He won't be maxed out, but he'll just be unlocked, which is good enough. Right. Get so, back at the 20 at least. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get in the top ten, because all my other ships are fucking good. They really are. And uh, if I get the ships in the top 10, my squad arena in the top, let's just say 100, whatever, top 100. <laughs> anyway. And uh, my grand arena is going good. And now our guild is like doing the best raids in the game. It's fucking fun, man. I got like a whole, I've been suddenly coming together. Yeah. You know? That's what the game is all about. Like you go through these giant slogs where you're doing nothing but slowly accumulating shit and it yes. feels worthless to you and you're, everyone's passing you by because they're mm -hmm. spending money. And then you finally start getting shit together. And it feels so good, so rewarding. Right. It's only going to feel rewarding for a little bit longer. And then until... someone new is going to come out. Yes. Apparently, General Grievous <clears throat> is the new hot shit with, at Gear 13. So they just, they just raised the max level. Oh, yeah, because I think he has like a shit ton just of a, health. Just a ridiculous amount. You don't need speed or nothing. You just health him up. No he's one can kill tank. him. Yeah, because then he's also like, he's a, he has all the droid allies. Mm -hmm. So if you try to kill him, as soon as you get him down a little bit, like all the droids just automatically taunt and mm -hmm. you can't hit Grievous. It's ridiculous. It's so cool I'm, though. I hope it's. I'm I, farming him already. I am too, bro. I'm, a, I'm like uh, six stars on that bitch. Oh shit! I haven't unlocked him yet. That's what you get for quitting a long time ago. You Is got, it? You got some growing to do. That's all right. So that's why I want to talk about Star Wars. So we'll see where your progress is. And next week. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to laugh so hard if you're at some Dude. kind of low point. You didn't get the Millennium Falcon. You're not in the top There's two. No you way. lost Grand Arena. I looked up the farm calculator for it. It <laughs> said I should not panic at all. There so. are a lot of resources for this game online. Like People take this, this shit fucking This game is pretty fucking popular. Serious. It really is. There's I think it's a YouTube, top mobile game. There's YouTube like uh, channels that mm -hmm. have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers just because of this game. Mm -hmm. It's true. What are we doing? This is like a fucking We're literally channel. doing it right now. What the fucking, fucking moron. What do you think this is? Joke.